Hello and welcome to Lisbon. I'm Max Nomad and today we'll go on an epic food tour. I'm gonna show you all the best places to eat in Lisbon so you can avoid the tourist traps and have real authentic delicious Portuguese food. It's gonna be a full day of eating. We'll start with breakfast and we'll go all the way until dinner. So let's go! Here we are at the very first stop. This is called Nicolau. It's a modern Instagram style cafe. Can't wait to try the pancakes here. They look absolutely amazing. And it's gonna give me the energy that I need to get going for the day. The Panquecas Nicolau are two fluffy pancakes topped with fresh strawberries and mascarpone cream. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. I was so hungry this morning. Then I got the granola bowl here. Nicolau's granola came drizzled with honey and with sliced fruit on top of a layer of creamy Greek yogurt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Really nice and healthy, kind of sweet with the honey, so good. And of course coffee for that extra bit of energy. So that was kind of like a really fresh, modern start to our tour today and now we're gonna shake things up and go to a place that has been in business for almost 200 years now. It's right down the street, it's the Confeitaria Nacional. Here we are in the Confeitaria Nacional, a super beautiful traditional place. I really feel kind of like I'm back in the 19th century. Opened in 1829, the Confeitaria Nacional is the oldest bakery in downtown Lisbon and one of the city's most prestigious cafes. It even acts as the official pastry supplier of the Portuguese presidents. And of course I ordered some traditional pastries here from Portugal. We'll start with the most famous one, this is the Pastei de Nata. The Pasteis de Nata were invented in the Mosteiro do Jerónimos Monastery in Lisbon and are Portugal's most celebrated sweet treat. The buttery pastry nests are filled with a vanilla and cinnamon infused egg custard cream and are baked at very high temperatures for that perfect yellow golden crust. It's really good here, it's a bit like vanilla, sweet, cinnamon, that's excellent. And then we have an africano, which is a cake with coconut as you can see. And the Portuguese had a huge colonial empire, so you get all kinds of different influences from around the world in their cuisine. And this is an example here with coconut. Oh, <laughs> wow, this is super juicy, lots of coconut inside, wow, I love this one, this one is amazing, Africano. And then we're here we have um, Bolo de Arroz, it's a rice cake, also a traditional pastry here from Lisbon. That's not as juicy, that's like more of a dry, like crumbly texture as you can see. Yeah, it's good, but I guess compared to the other ones, <laughs> it can't quite keep up. Next, I took the tram to get to one of Lisbon's most spectacular foodie attractions. Time Out Market is a gourmet food court concept that was invented in Lisbon. Occupying half of the historic Mercado da Ribeira, it is a culinary microcosm of the city, with food stalls from over 36 different vendors, including some of the most respected celebrity chefs of Portugal. Yeah, this is really foodie paradise, no matter what you want, if it's sweet, steak, fish, you got it. Like, it's amazing how many options they have. I walked over to the food corner of Malen Vieira, one of Portugal's most famous female chefs, and ordered a petiscus sampling platter. Petiscus are the Portuguese-style tapas. Lots of different varieties here, they look absolutely stunning. So first of all, I got like the mussels here with tomato sauce. Wow, this is cold, which is a bit surprising me, but it's, it's so delicious and it's fresh, especially tomatoes and the mussels are just so good. We got another seafood plate here. This is octopus with some red peppers. Mm. <laughs> wow, yeah, I love this one. This one is really nice with the different flavors of the octopus, some vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. Mm. And then we got the cutest little sandwich here. This is like a traditional uh, Portuguese pork sandwich. 
The sandwich I tried was a gourmet reinterpretation of the traditional Bifana sandwich, which contains tender pork meat cooked in garlic sauce and is usually eaten with mustard. this one too this is great and then a little bite here with ham this is like inside a mushroom as you can see and some egg on top as well oh wow so there's bacon in the inside so you got the bacon flavor you got the egg and the, the ham on top oh this is delicious it was really really delicious After all this delicious food, it is time for a little drink and we're gonna have a ginginha, which is the traditional cherry liquor from Portugal. And I got the ginginha com fruta, that means with fruit, so you got the little cherries inside as you can see. Let's try it. It's really sweet. You got the cherry taste, you got the alcohol. Oh, I can get used to that. This is my kind of liquor right here. And then once you finish the drink, you got these little cherries that you can eat as well. Ah, oh, that ginginha was perfect. I really felt like that little shot helped me make some more room in my stomach for more delicious Portuguese food. And next up, we're gonna have one of the most famous, most traditional dishes that shows you a lot about Portuguese history as well. So now I'm here at the Bom Jardin restaurant, which is extremely famous for piri piri chicken. So that's a grilled kind of chicken that is served with a spicy chili infused sauce. The Portuguese first encountered chili in South America during the age of discovery in the 16th century and introduced its cultivation in their African colonies, Angola and Mozambique. After the independence of the colonies in 1974, many people from there returned to Portugal and their taste for spicy food led to a massive rise in popularity of the piri piri sauce. I'm gonna apply some sauce here to the chicken. So you can see it here, it has the crispy skin on the outside with the spicy sauce and the chicken on the inside is quite tender. Oh wow, man, this is amazing. This must be some of the best chicken I've ever had. I love like the crunchiness of the skin and then the, the spicy kick of the piri piri sauce. After this wonderful lunch, it was time for dessert and I headed over to one of Lisbon's most innovative food places. The Bubble Lab offers authentic Taiwanese bubble tea and sweet Asian street food, including Hong Kong style bubble waffles, Japanese mochi cakes and taiyaki ice cream. This is kind of like sweets paradise as you can see. I got the legendary bubble waffles that they have here. I got the one with Oreo and chocolate. It's kind of like a chocolate bomb version. And the one with strawberry and vanilla ice cream. The bubble waffles themselves were light and fluffy, while the chocolate ice cream with Oreos and the vanilla ice cream with strawberries provided rich and incredibly indulgent fillings. I decided to move inside because it was getting really hot outside in the sun and this is a historic moment for me because this is going to be the first time that I try bubble tea. I've never had bubble tea before in my life. I got the, the variety with peach and strawberry. The funniest part is like the bubbles explode in your mouth and then there's like a burst of flavor. So there's first the peach and then as soon as I bite the bubble, it was a strawberry. Explosion. Wow, this is really cool. Now I start to understand why people like this so much. Next, I decided to try one of Portugal's most traditional dishes. And I went to this small local place here which has sardines. This is probably the most iconic, the most typical Portuguese dish. They love sardines here. Whenever there's like a national celebration, Portuguese people love to eat lots of sardines and I can't wait to try them here. So I'm gonna simply peel off the meat. Look at this, oh, it's so nice and steamy. These are grilled sardines with like salt on the outside. Mm. Mm hmm. Man, I love sardines, always like them. And this is great with the grilled 
skin, it's really crisp, and then soft on the inside, kind of salty, really good. It is the late afternoon now, and that means it's time for ice cream. I walked over to Geladus Santini, which is Portugal's most famous ice cream shop and has been serving excellent Italian-style gelato since 1949. I ordered a few different flavors and headed over to a nearby square to try them. They're, they're all fresh, like natural ingredients, so I could resist. I had to take as many as I could. Mm, this is mango, so nice. This is raspberry. Oh, amazing. <laughs> this is definitely the best ice cream I've had in a very long time. Wow, you can, you can really tell this is like real fruit. Wow, so good. I walked up a lot of stairs to get to the next restaurant. So now I am at the Cantinho do Aziz, which is a Mozambican restaurant. In Mozambique it used to be a Portuguese colony, so there is quite some international influence in Portuguese cuisine, as you know. So I got a vegetable samosa and a beef samosa, and I'm really excited to try these. The important thing here is the spicy sauce that we got right here with chilies. I think I found the beef samosa right here, and add the sauce. This is great and really spicy. This is perfect. And this is the vegetable one. With lots of corn inside and cheese. Yeah. It's kind of spicy and sweet at the same time now because the corn is kind of sweet. The main course arrived. It's a crab curry with coconut and it looks great. They gave me these crazy looking tools, so I'll try my best to get the crab out of its shell with these things. It looks kind of like torture instruments. It's pretty good. Kind of really soft and coconut. -y. After a short walk, I arrived at the perfect place to buy dessert. It is time for some more pastage de nata here at the Mantegaria. And I got them. So at the moment there's only uh, takeout, so I'm gonna take those delicious pastage de nata and eat them over there on the square. These are supposed to be one of the best pastage de nata in all of Lisbon, so super excited to try them. Oh wow, yeah, I love these. Mm. Yeah, as you can see here, they're really like full with cream, like there's cream everywhere. There's just a tiny bit of crust and everything else is delicious custard cream. Crisp texture on the outside is just the perfect sweet. So really hope you enjoyed this epic food tour of Lisbon. If you also want to get some ideas what else you can do in the city apart from eating food, then make sure to check out my video about the top 10 things to do in Lisbon right here. If you have any recommendations about which other foods I could try when I come back next time, then please leave them in the comments below. I'm Max Nomad and I will talk to you again soon.